What is up, YouTube? It's RS Mario here, bringing you another Legend of Zelda video. All right, so I was trying to figure out how can I do another Zelda video because I didn't want to jump back into theory crafting because I wanted to beat Breath of the Wild first, and since that's taking forever uh, for me to actually do, um, I was trying to figure out how I could do Zelda videos because, uh, of course, I couldn't do any more like you know. I wanted to do some more like shrine trials, and uh, I had a, a planned out a cooking special, like uh, like a, a tutorial about how to cook in the game. Um, but I, I mean, I just fixed my laptop and I had to get that back up and running. So I had I didn't have a way to actually get like footage, so I couldn't do that. So I was like, how can I do Zelda videos? And then I ran across this video here from this awesome dude named Jello Apocalypse best YouTube name ever and I'm sitting here like dude like he had a video like uh, well I haven't talked to dude but uh, he has a video called um, he he reviews all the Disney video all the Disney movies in 10 words or less and I was like that's a pretty cool thing and then I went about my business then I saw like a million other people do a video similar to that so seeing as though I mean everyone else is robbing this dude I thought I'd take a little piece for myself and go ahead and do this. So I am going to review all the Zelda games in 10 words or less. Now, a little disclaimer, I have not played every Zelda game. So the ones I haven't played are going to be marked with an NP. Because I haven't played those. And it's more like for comedy and for my own OCD. Because if I didn't put them on the list, it was going to mess with me. Uh, and the rating scale is going to be the same rating scale I use for my anime uh, reviews which is A to D. So, of course, D meaning is, you know, is donkey nuts, and then, of course, A meaning is awesome, you know. Uh, so, yeah, let's hop on into this. Man, I was one and dumb when this game came out. Yeah, I'm not that much of a sadist. Easily one of my favorite Zelda games. Minori Japanese! Huh? It was all a dream! One of the best games ever, and my first ever Zelda game. Dark Story, Alternate Hyrule, hells yeah! Nintendo swipes the Pokemon format. Won't be the last time. Sickest Ganondorf death ever, and it wasn't even Twilight Princess. Dark Story, great visuals, best launch game. Oh, wait a minute. Yup, one GameCube, four GBAs, four Link cables, and you're good to go. So Link gets his hat. This is the first game, right? This game came out way too close to Skyrim. The pirate life for Link. Zelda loves trains. Skip one of the best Zelda games ever. Nintendo was back, baby. All right, of course, you know, uh, you probably don't want to go back and like, you know, look at all those and see what which, which your favorite game ranked or whatever. So I guess I'll go ahead and give you the top three Zelda games and the uh, the bottom three Zelda games, like there's actually a bad Zelda game. <laughs> so of course, first off, Breath of the Wild. Like, come on, Breath of the Wild is one of the best Zelda games. I know this is gonna be kind of controversial with games like Twilight Princess and games like uh, Ocarina of Time, you know, being like huge, massive games. But I mean, you gotta look at Breath of the Wild. Not only did Breath of the Wild shake up the Zelda formula. It also shook up Nintendo as a whole. It literally brought Nintendo back. You know, you, you, you can't, you can't, you can't not see that. It's one of the best games ever. Ocarina of Time is literally one of the best games ever. Now, whereas that could be a controversial statement for Breath of the Wild, it is a fact for Ocarina of Time. It has been one of the best games ever on multiple people's lists throughout, you know, you know, internet history, that Ocarina of Time is one of the best Zelda games ever. One of the best games ever. And it is my first Zelda game. And then, of course, you have Wind Waker. Now, this one's probably got a little bit of personal bias in it because Wind Waker is my favorite Zelda game. Like, sailing on the boat going from island to island it seems tedious to other people but when i played this the first time 
it was freaking awesome. Like, I don't know, but it was awesome to me. Like, I freaking dug it. Like, I mean, it was it was crazy, and it's a little bit biased, but I mean, to me, this is one of the best Zelda games ever. Then, of course, the bottom three Zelda games, and I mean, technically, there isn't a bad Zelda game, and I didn't play Triforce Heroes, so I can't count that one, but I do, we do have to have kind of a worst list. It's kind of weird saying worst Zelda games, since most Zelda games are, are pretty good, you know? I mean, there's some that aren't amazing. I mean, you have, like, for instance, like, Spirit Tracks. Like, Spirit Tracks wasn't, like, the greatest Zelda game ever. Like, Spirit Tracks was okay. I picked it up mainly because, I I mean, it, it follows the Wind Waker. You know, it follows in that same Wind Waker timeline. You know, technically the last game in that timeline. But, um, yeah, it, it's okay. Uh, Phantom Hourglass is definitely a bit better. But this one, it's alright. It's not bad. Minish Cap is a good, it's, it's, it's got a good story, you know, but I think, main, I think mainly because it's a Game Boy game, I think the visuals might have messed me up a little bit, but it's still an awesome game though. Uh, then of course you have Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword is not a bad game in any way, but it literally did come out to, way too close to Skyrim. I mean, not only that, it did, it was kind of slow to start, you know, but it came out way too close to Skyrim, because not only did the game start off a bit slow, then you got Skyrim, which ate my life when it came out. I have yet to finish this game. I, I know what happens at the end, but I have yet to finish Skyward Sword. And I, I'm sorry, because it's actually a good game. Like, it looks really, I like the colors, it looks really good. It just couldn't seem to go back to this game though but it is a pretty solid entry in the Zelda franchise though uh, so that's about it tell me if you like this I was thinking about doing uh, a, one or two more of these I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna ride on this too hard because it is this man's gimmick and it's pretty lame to just hijack it like this but um, I, w I did want to make a couple more of these so I had some ideas for the format but uh, that's about it. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, folks, keep it real.